So right click, you want torus knot, but you want to click this button on the end so you can enter a resolution of 46. The number's critical. Right, you get this shape, you want to select the entire shape, right click and use the tighten command by moving the mouse left to fatten the shape up until it overlaps itself a little bit in the middle. Smoothing it down will cancel the overlapping bit. So don't overlap it too much, but a little bit will be fine. Now switch to the face tool, right click and tessellate. Triangulate and press space to deselect. You should now have these zigzag lines all over the surface. Select one of the diagonals, it doesn't matter which one, and press L for loop and then hit delete. That gets rid of them. We're just simplifying the shape now. We're using the diagonals to select the faces. Select another diagonal, press loop, switch to face tool, and you can see that every other face is now selected, which will create a nice geometry for us when we right click intrude and just intrude towards the middle. Don't go all the way in but go quite close so you end up with a quite a fat intrusion there. The final thing to do is select the entire shape and smooth it down to whatever level of detail you want and as a result it should miss itself now because it sort of shrinks in and that leaves you with this chain link torus knot effect. So there you go that's a fairly quick way to create what I think is quite an attractive and interesting shape so I hope you'll have a go with that in Wings 3D and render it in the render engine of your choice. So okay you could stop there but I'm going to encourage you to try something a little bit more ambitious. Right so right click and using the control again set a resolution of 46 as before. Select the entire shape then select the faces right click tessellate, triangulate, so you've got these diagonal lines, press space to deselect, select edge tool, select one of the diagonal lines, press L for loop and press delete to get rid of them, select one of the remaining diagonal lines, press L for loop, switch to face, press delete, then right click and then right click on material. This allows you to have a new material, set that to some kind of value so you can recognize it. Okay, now press space to deselect everything and then select one of these that lines that go there's going to loop around the object because we're going to cut it up so I press G and that uh, traverses that line around the outside of the shape and then L and that will allow us to ha cut this object through the loop cut command here into lots of separate segments press space to deselect everything now using the outliner if you've not got that as I say windows and select outliner select the new material and then right click and select it and all those faces are now selected I'm going to right click and intrude and by pressing the tab key we can get a value and we're looking for an intrusion of 0.005. This is only a very small amount of intrusion but it means that when we select the entire object and right click and weld it it'll fall within the um, it, it'll fall within the right uh, size so that the, the, the corners that were lined up get welded but the individual sections don't get welded across so we still have some thickness there for the moment. And then to make the geometry right for what we want to do, select the entire shape again, go to clean up, but use the dialog. And in this dialog, reduce this by the length tolerance of to a tenth, so it's 0 0.01, which means that the corners, those edges that we made, will now get cleaned up. So we've now got flat faces that are almost touching. This is ideal for the next step. Press S to smooth it once. And now here's the fiddle of it. Space to deselect everything. Selecting from the outside only, and that's important because there is an outside and an inside in this. Use your edge selection tool and select the outer edge of each of these rings. Don't select any of the inside ones. We're only on the outside. You have to be careful. It's easy to get this wrong. So I'm just going around one set. We need to do both sets so they, they will interlock. Keep an eye on what you're selecting and uh, just work your way patiently around the shape. I haven't found an easy way of doing this. and Unfortunately, it does tend to flicker about a bit. I think um, Camtasia is not helping me here. But, oh well, just bear with me. There should be one lot of loops coming up fairly soon. So press L for loop key and then you want the other selection selected again from the outside. Don't select any inside the tunnel. You're only selecting on this outer convex edge. So this is going to allow us to create a proper chain chain link chain effect. Um, you can see it's already looking a bit like one of those Christmas decorations you can make. And I'm, I'm utilizing the fact that we've been able oh, don't select that able to clean up the geometry and create very, a very close corner connection 
to give us a nice round smooth shape so loop again so that's just the L key and hopefully if I switch to uh, to the face tool it should show me each of the sections selected but I'm not going to use this just yet the faces I'm just going to go control Z now I've checked if each, each one's connected right click and bevel so that's going to be my chain link so I've given it maximum bevel now right click and use shell extrude so it's going to create separate shapes so I can choose whatever level of thickness I'll try and give them a more or less square cross section then if I select entire objects at this point I can right click and combine them so it'll simplify matters and then I can uh, I can hide my original object check that my chain link is complete and then use a the smooth command to tidy them up so you can see by that process I've made a torus knot of interlinked toruses so it's a little bit more complex than the other approach but I thought it was an interesting addition and obviously when you've got the original shape here if we go back to this one you also have the option of just smoothing that one down to create some interesting uh, geometry itself so a, a lot of options for uh, for embellishment and variation here so there you go that's the uh, the end of the video really the end of the video this time unless I think of anything else and I hope you have a go at that and uh, and render it in the render engine of your choice I think I said that last time okay end of the video